Going into our next operation, we want to spray material out of our spray wand, letter F. Same thing, we're pulling from valve one. Valve one will be open, two will be closed, three will be closed, and four will be open. Pulling material from one into the strainer basket, not allowing it to go into two, not allowing it to go into three, but going directly down, passing through open valve four, following the line into the pump, coming up out of the pump, around the turn, following the direction of material flow past the pressure gauge, passing through the pipe that goes through the main tank and coming into the rear manifold. As we hit the rear manifold, we're gonna look at our operation chart. We wanna spray out of the wand, operation F. Valve five, open. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12 are all closed. Valve five is right here. That's gonna be open and that's gonna start putting material to your wand. Now, it has nowhere else to go if all these valves are closed off. So we'll close off the spray bar and it's full pressure to the wand. If you would like for the wand to not deadhead the pump, we recommend you open up valve nine and valve 10. You can slightly open 10, it'll allow some material to recirculate back into the tank while you're spraying out of your wand. And if you turn your wand handle off to stop spraying for a moment, it will give the material somewhere to go. The more open it is, the less pressure you have at the wand. The more closed it is, the more pressure you have at the wand. If you leave it halfway open, you'll have a happy medium. You'll be able to spray out of the wand. You won't have to worry about deadheading the pump or engaging the pressure relief valve on the pump when you turn the valve handle off. In the off position, this will have nowhere for material to go if you don't have that return to tank valve open as well as number nine on the manifold. If you want full pressure to the spray wand, you simply close the return to tank valve and that gives you full pressure to your spray wand. Once you're done spraying with your wand, we recommend immediately cleaning out with air, putting solvent in the line and letting it soak. And we will get to that in our next operational step.